Hello everyone, this is Subodhi Fem. In the previous video, I have already discussed how to find the moment of inertia of a whole ice cream cone, uh, which is open at the top. Uh, that calculation was based on slant height consideration. In this video, I am going to discuss how to find moment of inertia by considering altitude of the whole ice cream cone. Let's see what to do. From the question, we get mass of the cone is uh, capital M, height is capital H and radius of its top is R uh, from the question. Okay. And uh, then surface density of mass of the cone is sigma equals to capital M by pi R L where L is the slant height of the cone. If semi vertical angle B theta, then from triangle O P Q, we get H by L equals to cos theta. Okay, this is the magnified picture, and uh, L will be H sec theta. Okay, by putting this value, we get sigma equals to m divided by pi r h sec theta. Now, let us consider a small element which should be a ring at the height x from the vertex O and R dx be the radius and thickness of the element. Then the mass of the element dm will be sigma into area of the element. Okay, Sig value of sigma will uh, already we have calculated. Uh, then area, if the if the area of the elemental mass be dA, then dA uh, will be 2 pi r into dL. And from the gain portion, uh, see this magnified picture, uh, dL equals to dx sec theta. By putting this value, we get dm equals to capital M by pi r, r h sec theta into 2 pi small r bx sec theta. By simplifying this, we get uh, 2m. Uh, small r divided by capital R into capital H dx. Okay. From triangle uh, POQ and OTV, uh, this is P. Okay. For OTV, we get tan theta equals to capital R by H and uh, small r by X. From this equation, we get uh, small r equals to capital R x by capital H. By putting this value, we get dm equals to 2 capital M by capital H square x dx. Okay. Moment of inertia of the element, uh, uh, which is a ring about the axis passing through its center, uh, di equals to dm into radius of gyrus square. Here, right, radius of gyration is the radius of the uh, circular ring and uh, dm into r square, small r square. Okay. And by putting the value of smaller, we get dm into r square x by h square. Okay. By putting the value of dm, we get uh, this value. 2m r square by h to the power 4 and x cube dx. For the entire cone, we have to integrate uh, this term uh, di okay, within the limit 0 to h. Then we get uh, the moment of inertia for the entire cone about the axis passing uh, through the uh, through center. Okay, we get uh, i oshi where oshi is the axis of rotation. We get i oshi equals to half m r square. Okay, this is another approach uh, of calculating a moment of inertia of a hollow ice cream cone. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.